Hey guys, what is up? It is Spooky Noodles, and I apologize. There's no lighting, or there's a fan in the background. I apologize, but uh, I do what I can. Um, this is going to be a reading vlog. Um, as you know, I finished the first, or I finished a prompt in the Halloweenathon, which is being uh, hosted by Paul Purgatory Paul. Um, I uh, did the creature feature. Uh, prompt, which is, uh, I read, uh, The Hunger on the Chisholm Trail by M. Ennenbach, so I can cross that one off my list, and, uh, I realized that I could probably get away with, uh, doing some audiobooks. It takes me an awful long time to re do, uh, audiobook, but that being said, um, I do have a six-hour audiobook about uh a, is, which is a creature feature called worms which was published in 1979 and that's going to work for um are you into horrors reading challenge which is uh i don't know if it actually has a name or not but it's a three month challenge where you read one book for for each month um the first prompt is for the first month and it's to read a book that takes place uh, before 1989 so, so uh, a book that's 31 years old or older so I'm gonna go with Worms by James Montague um, I have this audiobook and I forgot that I had it and uh, I'm currently listening to a uh, I think his name is Jonathan Mayberry I could be wrong I, I'm probably so wrong right now but um he wrote this uh, Wild West horror book, and uh, it's really good. Um, I'm really enjoying it. Um, Mayberry, or if that's his name, um, has a really talented way of keeping you in the story. Like there isn't hasn't been a boring part yet in the story. It's been all action, and I like that. Um, but uh, yeah. Um, Worms by James Montague. Uh, I'm going to read that, um, or listen to that, I should say, for uh, the first prompt in uh, in uh, Are You Into Horrors thing. Um, it t I go for 20 minute walks a day, so with my dog, I'm gonna try to do more walks. So maybe double it, maybe walk both the dogs and uh, get 40 minutes a day in for uh, listening time. So um, I should be able to finish this audiobook. I don't know. Um, if it takes me 20 minutes for per walk and um, it's six hours long, um, Oh geez, what's the math here? Oh, I'm never ever I'm never good at math. Um let's see, you do six hours divided by twenty minutes. Um what would you get? Um one, two, three, one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So it would be like 18 walks, so it would take me about 18 days to finish Worms. And I don't know how many days of this month I have left, but um, I'm going to work on it. Um, maybe take a break from the one audiobook I'm listening to, which has like 4 hours and 40 minutes left in it. Um, <clears throat> it's got some time. It was a long one, though. It was like a 16-hour audiobook, so... It, but uh, Worms by James Montague is only uh, six hours, so it should take me, like I said, 18 days or less or more. It depends. Um, but uh, I'm going to put that one into the slot. And then I just recently got October by Michael Rowe on audio, and I'm going to be listening to that in October. And uh, what was the one for next month? Um... Read a book that has to do with Halloween. I'll be reading Prank Night for that one. And I'm very excited because I like Prank Night so far. Prank Night has been a great book. And, uh, yeah. 
Um, it has been cheesy though. It's been a very big cheesy book. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's major cheese, but um, it's okay. I'm really enjoying it for all its cheesiness. Um, but that being said, um, yeah, Worms by James Ma Montague is going to be my little. Uh, I think it's going to be a good book, and I'm going to put it for uh, Are You Into Horrors Challenge. Now, um, I'm also reading Voodoo Heart, and I'm thinking about reading another book, but um, I'm not sure yet. I, I'm trying to finish some books that I started reading and need to finish. I want to finish Purgatory Paul's uh, reading challenge first, and then do the other two later. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, um, we'll see how it goes. But reading vlog, basically, I read, uh, Hunger on the Chisholm Trail, which was really good. Um, I gave it four stars out of five. Um, the review is up on my channel if you want to go watch it. Um, it it's 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 awesome um i promised you i worked pretty hard on it um i could have done better i could have done better i should have put some gifts in there uh that would have been cool but i wasn't thinking about it i was just trying to get my review up because i was i was so excited um to review that book um even though i had some critiques um it was a really good book so yeah, I hope I didn't hurt the author's feelings with what I said, but, um, yeah, ultimately, it was a really fun book, so, yeah. Um, so, right now, I'm reading Voodoo Heart, and I'm listening to, uh, what was the, what was the, um, I think it's called Ghost Rock by Jonathan Mayberry. I could be wrong, but, um, that's what the whole book's basically about, so... Um, it's a really fun book, but I think I'm going to pause that one and start Worms by James Montague, which is a creature feature that was published in 1979. It's a very interesting book, and I think I'm going to like it a lot. I mean, worms, come on, man. Worms scare me. It's one of the reasons why I want to be uh, burnt into crisps. You know, I want to be burnt into ash and then put into an urn and then grow into a tree. I don't want no coffin because the thought of my body being eaten away by worms just ugh, makes me shiver. So yeah, I can't wait to read this book about worms though. I mean, how do you make worms scary? We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's it really. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, also, I read um, I read. Hunger on the Chisholm Trail with uh, Working Man's Reads, Joshua Working Man's Reads, and we had a lot of fun reading it. Um, he's still reading it, but he's also like reading like multiple books at once, so I don't dog on him at all. Uh, I wish I could do that. I tried to do that, and I got distracted too easily, so I, I'm just going to stick to one book at a time, other than audi audio books. I'll, I'll do audio books and... Uh, and read at the same time but um that's different i won't read two books at the same time i won't ever do that again but um yeah this has been a quick reading vlog well not really quick it's been nine minutes but um yeah um i'm trying to find small books that i could read really quickly for these challenges um I have to look back at my video and see which books I said I would read for which book, which uh, prompts, and uh, choose which one I'm going to read next. Uh, I think I want to finish Purgatory Paul's, uh, like I said, I want to finish Purgatory Paul's uh, thing first. So I'm probably going to either stick to Voodoo Heart, which is a cult book. It's a book about voodoo, and uh, it's really good so far. I'm 39% through it, and... Uh, yeah, I already started it, so why not finish it type thing. Um, but that being said, um, I, if I get bored, which I don't think I'm going to get bored, but if I do get bored, I'm going to move on to something else. Um, I do have those Jane Williamson books that I said I would read. Um, 
Wolver is e the evil one and by Jane Williamson and uh, what was the other one? Um, Extraterrestrial, which he wrote under Julian Shock. I might read the Extraterrestrial. But I'm not gonna lie, because um, I am terrified of aliens and uh, yeah. But uh, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, I know my day was pretty good. I got th a thousand words written today. I had a thousand words written yesterday, so a thousand yesterday, a thousand today. Pretty good streak right now. Um, I, I'm almost done with my short story, um, which is going to go into my short story collection. Um, it seems like my short stories are getting longer and longer and longer, which I think is becoming a, is, is a good thing. That means I'm being more descriptive with the way I write, and I think I'm improving and maturing as a writer. I'm not there yet, but um, I think I'm getting better. And uh, yeah, I I'm on. I have 21 pages written for this uh, Windigo story, and I finally decided it's gonna be a Windigo, and it's gonna be my version of a Windigo. So it's gonna be a little different than what you envision what a Windigo would be. Well, it's going to have a lot of the similarities to it, but um, I added stuff like goat's eyes, um, maggots feasting on the thing's skin. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be an awesome little read. Um, I definitely, definitely need some work. I'm still in the rough draft. Um, I haven't even touched the edits yet. Um, <sighs> sorry. Um... But yeah, um, writing has been great. Um, writing has been great. I've enjoyed it thoroughly. And I can't wait to share with you guys my short story collection. Um, it's not, I don't know if it's going to be better than the first, but the stories are going to be longer and more detailed and more in depth. So hopefully, if you guys enjoyed what I wrote in the first collection, I hope that I can outdo it in the second one although the ideas in the first one were very original and I uh, worked really hard on those stories that being said the second collection is gonna be bigger and I feel like you're gonna see a lot of improvement from me in the second collection um, I have so far they emerged from the woods which is uh, an older story I wrote but it's it did I just didn't feel like it fit in the first collection but it's gonna open up the first or the second collection. Um, then I have um, a story about this uh, this uh, kid who goes into a cancer treatment center to get a uh, new experimental drug to cure his cancer, and things go awry. Let's just say that. Um, and. Um, uh, I, I still have a lot to work to do on this one story, but I have this one called, um, oh, what is it called? Uh, um, oh, I forget what it's called, but, um, it's basically about this guy who's going insane. Um, I have a lot to work to do with that story, though. <sighs> but it is going into the um, collection. Um, Grey Matter 2 is going to be an awesome collection, um, filled with fun stories. They're going to be all, the, except for Emerged from the Woods, they emerged from the woods. They're all going to be bigger and better. Um, I only say, be on, I only leave out emer they emerged from the woods because. I feel like that was a, um, it, it's like Portal in the Woods, but different. And, um, a little, it, well, it's not like Portal in the Woods at all, but it has the same type of writing style to it. Like, it's very short, it's a creepypasta type story. Whereas the new stories that I'm writing, I'm trying to broaden my writing skills and I'm trying to write stories that don't feel like creepypastas. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make in depth and have them conclude a way that doesn't leave mystery to it and stuff like that. Um, I'm, I'm just trying my hardest right now to make something you guys will enjoy. I really want to make you proud. 
Um, you guys mean a lot to me, so whatever you guys think of me is means a lot. Um, so hopefully I can write you some good stories. The first collection, I believe, had eight stories, whereas this one is probably going to have up to four to five stories. Um, only because they're, they're going to be longer stories. So, yeah. So it's going to be like the same size as the first one, but it's going to have less stories, if that makes sense. Um, because, like, um, the thing in the ward, which is the chemo story... Um, that is like around 38 pages long and that, that I mean that's already halfway to what the uh, first collection was you know so yeah and then they emerged from the woods I believe is 12 pages long um, then you have uh, what was it? what was it? it was like something cosmic horror the title was cosmic horror related um, Wow, it's just slipping my mind at the moment. But um, I worked really hard on it, and I have an idea of how to fix it because my editor said it was basically complete trash. <laughs> she was like, um, it could use some improvements, and I don't think this is at all done, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, okay. So she laid it out on me, you know? So, you know, I respect that. So, um, she, she laid it out on me and, uh, said that basically the story wasn't good enough and I am totally going to make it better. Um, totally going to make it better. Um, I wish I could remember the name of the book though, uh, or the story I should say. Oh, and I also might re-edit Chueya Centipede or AKA Chueyin Centipede. I realized that I made a mistake when I, I originally had it as the Chueyin centipede, but then I, for some reason I asked, someone corrected me and said it's not the Chueyin centipede, it's the Chueya centipede. So I went and listened to them and had my editor change it just to realize that they were kidding with me, they were joking, and it spells out Chihuahua centipede. So I feel like a complete asshat. And I'm going to have to change that. But Chueyin Centipede may make an appearance in this short story collection. And that story is like 41 pages long. So you got that 38 plus the 41. Let's just round it up. Let's just round both the stories up to 40 or down to 40. And uh, that's 80 pages right there, which is basically what the uh, first collection was at. I think the first collection was 86 pages long. And that's including the author page, so um, at least that's what, for my memory, you know, which is not that great. But um, yeah, um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, my short stories are getting better and better the more I do them. I need a name for this Windigo story. Um, I think I'm gonna call it like something like Blood in the River or something like that or a fiend in the stream something stupid but something clever at the same time I don't know we'll we'll think of something but uh, basically it's about this group of people that are this these three guy guys that are getting chased by a monster in the woods and uh, yeah I already wrote some good scenes I already regret not writing a certain scene I was like I'm not gonna put any animals in the story because I don't want to hurt any animals but then as I was writing I'm like I don't have to hurt the animal to have the animal in the story so I had I had like a perfect scene set up in my mind and I didn't go ahead and write it so I'm gonna go have to go back and write rewrite it in you know because it's a good idea um, just to prove that you know give some lore to the story and um yeah I, i'm totally gonna i have so many ideas for this short story i'm writing at the moment um i'm taking a break from all the other novels and novellas that i'm working on like i was working on a western horror which i'm taking a break because i feel like it's getting away from me so i need to step back take a second to look what i got and uh then rewrite then I have um, Triad, which is almost finished. Um, I just have to look over the last three chapters and change a little bit. 
um, and add something. Then I'm gonna have my beta reader, my friend, read it one more time. Then I'm gonna send it off to an editor. Then I'm gonna send it off to another editor. Then I'm gonna have it completed. And um, I am super stoked because this is my first novella. Even though it's very short, coming in around like 83 pages long. I forget how many pages long it is exactly, but um, it's a pretty short novella. Um, it's like 28,000 words long, I think. Maybe more. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a good story, and I think I did a pretty good job. It's my first story with, n like, nothing, like, I don't want to say supernatural, but, um, s something with n out a gimmick to it, you know, like, like, there's no killers, really, there's no, it's more of a thriller than a horror, but, um, it, it, well, you'll see. You know, you'll see when it comes out. Take Me From Here should be coming out soon. Um, I'm hoping to release it at the end of the year, but we'll see when I get around to um, editing. Um, I'm getting a little bit more money than I was before, so I am probably going to go ahead and hire those editors soon, but I got to reread what I wrote. And, and do some editing myself. Um, there's a whole scene that I want to write back, like, right into the story. And, um, yeah. There's also two other stories that I'm working on that I put on back burners. Like, um, Triad. Uh, Triad is an amazing story, but I'm not much of a supernatural guy. So I think I might have to bring on board another author to give me some, uh, you know to give me some what's the word I'm looking for ideas that's the word I'm looking for wow something so stupid I, I can't believe I can't remember the word idea but uh I need someone to give me some ideas for what I'm writing um because right now it's it's like I have nothing like going for me I have written these beautiful characters this beautiful storyline but then I have nothing to put them through, you know? So uh, I'm going to have to work on that. The story's already past novella length, so that's awesome. Um, then I have Symbiotic, which is past the novella length and is a full-blown novel coming in at 175 pages or more. And uh, still going. I have. I just thought about a scene that I can add into the story, and I cannot wait to add it into the story. Um, because I feel like there needs to be more deer. Like, there's a, this whole story of symbiotic is about this deer that is has is uh, that gets in contact with a symbiote or a symbiotic creature. And this symbiotic creature uh, latches onto its brain and basically takes control of the deer. And um, the deer goes on a killing spree. I want to make that clear that it's a deer going on a killing spree, you know? Later on in the story, things change, but um, the first part of the story, it's about a serial killing deer. And... Like a full-blown buck, you know? A buck that don't give a fuck. And, uh... I, I, I just have a scene that I want to write where... I'm not going to say anything, but, uh... There's a scene that I want to write into that. And, uh, Right now, I, I have to figure out how to end this story, you know? Um... I have no idea how to end this story. Um... But we'll figure it out. But those are all the back burner projects I have. Um, this Windigo story is going straight into the Grey Matter 2 collection. Um, Grey Matter 2 has an awesome, amazing cover. Uh, maybe I'll throw it up on the screen here if I remember to do it. Um, 
if I have to figure out if I even have it saved on my phone, the image that I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, I'll just put the cover where my hand is, and, uh, yeah. But, um, that's my writing news and reading vlog. Um, writing has been amazing lately. Um, I've had two straight days with, uh, 1,000 words written. Um... And that's all going towards my Windigo story. Um, and the Windigo story is going, I think I'm going to call it uh, something to do with kayaking, obviously, because the story is about kayaking. And, uh, well, not really about kayaking per se, but they're on a kayaking trip and things go awry. So I'm going to probably call it. Uh, there's blood in the stream or something like that. I have I don't know. I'm terrible with coming up with titles, but um yeah. Um very excited about the story. I don't know how much more I can say about this story other than I'm very very excited about the story. Um I'm also very very tired. So I'm probably going to end this video and then I'll edit it in the morning. So uh I just want to say uh I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a spooky night. And I'll catch you in the next video. I hope you guys like the review today. Um, Chester did a good job, I think. So, yeah. Peace out, guys.